sorry about that people, I had to cut this little first video quite short but as I was trying to explain before to leave a dog in the car or even bring a dog out here or out to bring him water you are looking at a serious problem I mean black and white it will overheat quite fast but when you've got a pure white dog you actually need sun cream on them as I don't know if we're going to be able to see she'll stand still long enough Lexi! Lexi stay stay come here she has actually got pink but she'll stand still Lexi she's got pink on her nose there that pink you need to keep sun cream on it's not because it's a fashion for kind of shit it's based let's see stop it stop just being now young lady no you stop just being uh, like i was trying to say it's not because it's a fashion for crap it's simply because they burn faster than any dog going uh i've had people comment to me before oh you shouldn't put sun cream on dogs it's poisonous to dogs blah 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 no, you can't actually get a dog sun cream that it's not toxic to the dogs, but it's not as effective. Human sun creams are actually used on babies. So you can get baby sun cream, and that's the one I put on my dog. It's factor 50 50, not poisonous for dogs, and you can keep it on them as long as they need to. Now, I know, Tilly, quiet! I know a lot of people are going to scream at me for putting sun cream on my dog. But at the end of the day, I don't know if you just see it, all the spots there, that's her skin. And I don't know if see, can everyone see that mark there? That sunburn that she had from the previous owner when she was a pup. Teddy, come, come, sit. The previous owner who had her, I don't know what's done, I don't she left her out in the sun or what, sit. But she had a sunburn on her butt. Now, like I say, people are going to go on the apeshop and put sun cream on my dog. It's my dog to do what I want. I have actually checked up with the vet about that, as quite a lot of people had said to me it was dangerous for dogs. And according to what they were saying, the one that is actually dangerous for dogs is the factor 30 to 50, because it has a type of medication in it that can not poison dogs, but it's like a sedation thing. <laughs> Uh, everything I do put on my dogs, I do check before I do put them on my dogs. I ate no more. But, like I say, if I don't think it's safe for my dogs, or I don't know if it's safe, I will check on me, or I will check my vet. But, but I, actually, a lot of people I know, I've been seeing some of the comments, but... 9 out of 10, the people that are commenting aren't even dog owners. So what right have you got to comment that you think you know better on how to treat a dog sunburn if you don't even have a dog? If you don't know how to look after a dog or you don't know how to stay, treat a dog properly, then go to your local vet, your local pet store or anywhere like that, Get the information you need before buying the dog. I was actually misled to what she is. I was told she was a... I don't know if people are going to be able to see this. This is the reason why she's on the leash. She is extremely aggressive towards other dogs. We have actually got two other dogs, bigger dogs, over on the other side of the field. This is why I don't want to let her off and we have the dog come up onto the field. But she is actually extremely aggressive. That little one there is four year old and she is basically telling the puppy off to say pack it in. But there's also times she gets too boisterous and says that's my toy. See? Da, da. That's the correction. I didn't like that behaviour. The reason why I corrected that there because she's baring her teeth for nothing. She's basically saying, drop it. She's basically saying that's my toy. There we go. Eh, eh. She's basically saying that's my toy, you're not allowed to touch it. That is the kind of behaviour you don't want. Is that, ah, ah, that is the type of behaviour, ah, ah. That is the type of behaviour that's going to cause possession uh, in garden and stuff like this. Sit, sit. She the focus until she relaxes. Now she can have it. Correct, correction of an aggressive dog slash possessive dog. It's not hitting them, but it's in fact teaching them if they like that. Yep, 
back. Whoa, drop it. Good girl. It's on fact saying to them, well, no, you're not allowed to do that because you're being naughty. I'm going to go and try little madam here. And before anyone says anything to me, she is on a long enough leash to move. She has got water, she has got treats, but I will be literally next to her. But I am going to be doing some rope training with my other dog. So if you will give me two minutes, I will cut this video off and start my new rope video up. Good luck.